Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled Learning Torah or Abstaining from Learning Torah, L'Shem Shemayim. The previous year we talked about bringing down the government, L'Shem Shemayim, for the sake of heaven. A person goes ahead, leave him and go by, whoever it is, and he is the swing vote. He can make the difference in creating the, the government or bringing it down. And he's convinced he's doing it. L'shem Shemayim. I, I can't go ahead and work with Bibi, and I can't work with this government, I can't work with the Haredi, whatever the case is. And they're convinced. L'shem Shemayim. Ultimately, God knows. So I'm applying the same concept, person learning Torah. L'shem Shemayim, or not learning Torah, L'shem Shemayim. Person goes ahead. And he learns Torah in the morning, afternoon, in the evening. Beautiful. He's learning the Shem Shemayim, Hashem's Torah. And the test says in the Torah to be learning Yom Ramalayla day and night, and that's what he's doing. Beautiful. Okay. Let's say his wife says, you know, I don't see you around much. I love to have you around. We have some quality time together. I need help with the kids. Or Come learn at home. I know it's not the same as learning in the base measures of Chavrusa, but I think it's important for the kids to see that. Whatever the case may be. But there's a voice telling him, inner voice or maybe an outer voice, that, you know, maybe you're learning right now, not the right time. And he's convinced, I'm learning L'Shem Shemayim for the sake of heaven. It's a big mitzvah. One of the biggest of mitzvot. Well, he needs to challenge himself somehow to know, is he really L'Shem Shamayim? And just like in the case of the politicians, I hope somehow they could figure it out. This young man, or old man, whoever it may be, he needs to figure this out. Is it really L'Shem Shamayim? In my opinion, greatest chance is the couple talks it over in a serious way in the case that we were talking, and if they need help with an outsider, with a rabbi, a therapist may not be enough here because he's a rabbi with the values and understanding of the mitzvah of Torah and the mitzvah not to learn Torah at times and be involved in the family. You need someone that has the full perspective. And only then can we know, is it L'Shem Shamayim? So it really needs to be looked into. Other times a person might say the opposite. He's home all the time, helping out all the time. And he's not really going out to learn too much. And he's staying home all the time. Why? You'll never guess. L'shem Shemayim. My wife really needs my help. Kids need me around. And the wife says to him, thanks for being around so much, but I think you can have a Seder. You could go out for an hour and I don't learn. You could and should. It's important for you and for the kids to know. Tati goes out every night to learn for an hour. No, it's important that I'm home. And the wife says, uh, uh, maybe it's important that you go out. No, but I'm home for you and for the kids, the Shem Shamayim. So to me, once again, the same approach needs to be looked into. The couple work together, rabbi, to understand. The mitzvah of chinuch is crucial. Working together with your wife is crucial. Chas v'shalom, she's suffering and she's waiting for the husband and he's not there for chas v'shalom, God forbid. But learning is important. How to balance these things out. So just leave it up to one's inner feelings of the Shem Shamayim to me is dangerous and not simple. And from the wife's standpoint too, I want you to go out and learn the Shem Shamayim and I'll be with the kids. That's great. But if she can't make it, she thinks she can make it, but she's suffering. Husband sees that and says, wow, what is the thing is pushing me to go to learn, but she needs my help. So talk it over. Go to a rabbi, talk it over together and get that balance. So the upshot of everything I'm saying now is when we do something with Shem Shemayim, if everything is going fine and smooth and all parties are happy, okay, that, that's maybe that you're doing with Shem Shemayim. If there's some tension, especially if it's a wife and husband, there's some tension over this, and you're doing it just L'Shem Shemayim and it's creating tension, to me there's a question, there's a red light there. And in order to really confirm Shem Shemayim, it should be taken a step further. Husband and wife talk with a rabbi, schmooze it over, and then, and maybe only then, can they come to the conclusion if it's truly the shame Shemayim. Shalom.